Hello friends, welcome to the new session of Oracle Tutorials for Beginners. In this today's session, we are going to learn about one important Oracle function, translate of. The Oracle translate function is used to replace a sequence of character in a string with another set of character, which means when you want to change any character with a different character from your input string, you can use translate of function. Basically, a translate function is a character based replacement. The translate of function is replaces a single character at a time. Say for example, from your input string, if you want to change a character A with X, you can use translate of. In your input string AB with 1, 2, you can use translate function. Let's see the syntax of a translate function so that you will get a clear idea. The syntax of translate function is translate of your input string is nothing but the value which you are passing. From string is nothing but from the input string, which character do you want to change? The third argument to string is nothing but to with which character you want to replace. Say for example, my input string is x, y, z. And from the x, y, z, I want to change x with character 1. So you will get the output as 1, y, z. So basically and translate function is character based replacement. We will see some examples so that you will get a clear idea. Translate of your expression is nothing but your input string and from string is nothing but your character you want to change. To string is nothing but the from string you want to replace with which character. Let's take this as an example. Let's take this as an example. In this case, we are passing translate as our input string. And from this uh, word, wherever I have an R character that I am wanted to replace with one, wherever I have N in this from string that I wanted to replace with two, wherever I have a value with L that I wanted to change with three. And here I have provided T, but in the two string, I have not provided any value. So Oracle will skip this value in the output so that we have mentioned no character is defined. So as we have seen uh, this translate function is character based replacement. So let's see this output, you will get a clear idea. If you see this from string, we have a T value, but in the T for T, we have not provided any two string. So obviously we will not get the T in the output. For R, we have specified one as replacing. So we are getting one in the output. For A, we have not passed any from string. So obviously we will get A. And if you see N for N, we are passing two as replace character. So we are getting two. For yes, we have not specified any from string, so we will get yes. For L, we have provided three, so we are getting three in the output. For A, we have not specified anything, so we are getting A. For T, we have not specified any two string, so we, we, it will Oracle will ignore that T value. For T, we have not passed any value in the from string, so we will get E in the output. Let's see some real-time example to understand the translate function. Translate of, I'll give ABC is my input string. So from this ABC, wherever I have A, I wanted to replace with value one. So if you run this query, you will get output as one BC because from my input string, I don't want A, in the result, wherever I have A, I wanted to replace with 1. So if you run this query, you will get an output as 1. So let's take one more example. In the same query, we will pass B and I will give a value as 4. So if you run this query, Oracle will sequentially replace the value with the given two string. So the position 1 is A will replace with 1. The position 2 will get replaced with 4. If you run this query, you will get 1, 4 and then C. Let's see the third example. 
I want to replace ABC with 1, 2, 3. So if you take this as an example, the character A will replace with 1. And wherever we have a B in the from input, this will get replaced with 2. And in this, wherever we have C, this will get replaced with 3. So obviously, we will get an output as 1, 2, 3. Let us see one uh, tricky example. I have taken the same query, but from this from input, I am taking the same value ABC, but in the two string, I have removed the third character. So if you run this query, you will get an output as 1, 2, because we won't get C value in the output since we have provided only two occurrence replacement. As we have seen, translate functionation sequence of character replacement so oracle will consider first replace con first character with first character and the second character with second character and the third character with if you see there is no value obviously oracle will ignore this value in the result set that's all dear friends i hope this uh, video is clear if you have any doubt on this uh, translate function you can leave a comment in the comment section i'll replay thanks for watching if you like my videos, you can subscribe my page for the regular updates. Thank you.